What's up, everybody? It's your boy Mean here. I locked in again today. <laughs> uh, yeah, check it out. Um, man, whenever actually, I'll just show you guys. Look at this. I turn on. I, I turn on GPU acceleration. I relaunch. Then look at my graph view. Doesn't work. Doesn't work if I have GPU acceleration on. Everything else works fine, but. Not when I have, um, graph view doesn't work. So I have to turn hardware acceleration off and then it's, uh, it's so slow. It's terrible. It's terrible. Um, but yeah, I, I really locked in today. Where is what I worked on? Oh, a lot of it is over here. So, um, I learned about uh, cases and form factors, so like ATX mid tower and ITX and mini ITX and you know I have like the things for different cases and then I have the things for different um, uh, motherboards. Um, so yeah and then I also did hard disk cables, so uh, like Molex which is actually called 4 pin uh, 8991. Um, oh. oh man. Okay, uh, and then like eSATA and um, IDE and uh, SCSI. Um, this one was irritating. That's my current show in the background. I really didn't like doing this one. Um, and I also finished up external connectors. Oh, actually I did external connectors today. Mostly, I finished you know, I think I did DVI today as well. So yeah, so I figured out stuff about DVI. Well, I got more info on DVI. Um, I think I already did all of USB, um, but I worked on more serial. So I found out more about DB15 and DB25, etc. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, this is DVI. <laughs> um, yeah, I pretty much did hard disk drives and uh, cases and form factors, and uh, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Uh, it's just, oh my god, SCSI was so, was just so irritating. This one was so difficult to understand because I don't, I've literally never interacted with this in my life, and I've never interacted with um, uh, SAS in my life either. So it, it was just all new stuff and it was kind of hard to process as opposed to something where I'm like learning about USB where it's like, sure, I didn't know the exact names of all of the different specifications, but like I can, I, you know, I know my array, way around USB. And so, you know, I, I sort of understand it as I'm writing it down, but SCSI, I really had to just look at it and think about it. There's was a lot of effort, but I figured it out. Um, So I woke up at seven today. I'm gonna wake up at six tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up at six. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I woke up at seven today. I had um, a jalapeno bagel for breakfast with jalapeno and honey cream cheese, which I've never had before. It was really good. Uh, but it was a very intense jalapeno flavor with the um, jalapeno bagel. Uh, jalapenos aren't that spicy, but like they're sort of like it's a very distinct flavor and it kind of dominates your mouth. Um, uh, yeah. So then for lunch, oh, and then I also had some leftovers from yesterday, some of that short rib and potatoes, and that was pretty tasty. Um, and then, oh, I forgot, before I had breakfast, I also walked for for four miles. So um, yeah, I walked for four miles, burned 712 calories, and my average heart rate is 136. Um, and so yeah, I'm happy about that. Um, I don't know, what else? Um, I, had, well, I had breakfast slash lunch. Um, and then for dinner, um, we had this amazing sole. I, I, I think it's a fish called sole. Um, we had this like sole and um, roasted potato and spinach meal, and it was very good. Um, 
you know, we've sort of been fish pilled recently. We've been eating a lot of fish. Uh, we didn't really used to eat much fish, and that's because my dad didn't like it. But my dad likes fish now, so we're eating fish, and it's really good, good for your heart. Uh, like fish is like, I feel like I think fish is the only meat that's like good for you. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, yeah, so that's been good, and you know, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I sort of classified my four terabyte hard drive. I put a little QR code on it. I put it downstairs. So now the only thing left is my games drive, which I don't know. I might take out of my computer tomorrow. Um, we also have a whole bunch of family photos on our main computer. And yesterday I tried moving it with a Windows, like Windows file system, like like file explorer, um, and it was at zero percent the whole day. So this morning, I downloaded uh, Debian. WSL on Windows, and I've actually never ran WSL before, um, but you know, I ran uh, Debian WSL, and it worked fine. You know, I just did apt install rsync and apt install ssh, and I was able to, um, over, I think, an ssh tunnel, uh, use rsync and move all the family photos over, well, copy all the family photos over to, the, to my NAT server, because, you know, it has scrubbing tasks and um, ZFS snapshots, it's just a way safer place to hold data rather than some random SSD on a laptop. Um, and we, you know, we have several copies of all those photos and videos, like, around, but, you know, it's nice to definitely have them on the NAS server. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, alright, I hope everybody has a good day, and see you, dude.